flamenco. What, what do we discover about it? There's a lot of patterns. A lot of patterns. And there's a lot of common tones. What does common tones mean? There's a lot of like uh, <laughs> notes that stay yeah. the same, whereas on top there might be two voices and the top voice might move, but the bottom might stay the same. Is that true at the, on the first line? Right. So what do you focus on on the first line? Which note? Right. The top notes of the, the chord? Yeah. yeah, but we're doing the left hand. That's right. Okay, so in three eighth time, you're going to count one and for every what? For every eighth note. Eighth note. That's right. Are we ready? Just left yeah. hand. Here we go. And one and we'll make it a one. Well, you know what? You're right. We're going to make it short, so it's really not going to be one and, but it fills the space of one and with a, where it reverbs out, right? So it's still reverbing. Reverbing and you still hear it, don't you? One and two and three and two and three and and there are little accent marks, right? That are above the notes. And two and three and three. Two and three and less and two and three and and two and three and and two and more now and two and less now and then come less now less three and left and two and three and keep your accents on top it can be soft accents and three and and two and three and let, let, let's go back here let's go back here. One and two and three and and two and three and and now skip to E flat and two and more now and then the most now right this is the, this is what's going to support the whole piece so that if you just stay at one dynamic level it, it won't allow you to to like the, let the piece blossom into the forte and the crescendos right okay now I'm going to do it with you. And you're going to do the left hand, I'm going to fill in the right hand up to that point. You know, we're not going fast. So here's what's going to play out. It's going to be like this. We're going to do one and two, three and one and two and three and one and two three and one and two and three. See how that's going to happen? So I'm doing the two and three and. Wait, Fritz. Settle down. I'm doing the two and three and. You're doing the one and. The one end is really not holding it down, but it the staccato takes up the space of what? One end. Okay. So let me give you one measure of three. One and two and three and one and two and three and three and two and three and one and two and three and three and two and three. One and four. Before you play, could you look and see how many flats this piece has? Uh, one, two, three. Okay, what are the flats? Name them. C. Well, start, always start from the left. No, no, in, in music, when you look at the key signature, you start with the first flat to the left, then you go to the next one you see next to it, to the right, and then the extreme right is the third flat. That's the order of the flat. So, B flat. Right. And then E flat. And then? And then um, A flat. Correct. B, E, A. Good. Now put your foot down. Sit like your pianist. Very important when you practice that you don't kind of, you know, like sort of slouch and the foot goes everywhere. Okay. Now show me how you block each measure. And I want, by the way, that chord, listen to me, that chord should fill up the space of three beats for now. One and two and three and, and two and three and short, and two and three and, and two and three and. It goes back. No, it goes back. It goes back. Okay, let's look at it again. Okay, it's really important. It goes C minor chord, dip down, which is dip down, come back up. It's like a neighbor chord below it. Come back to C minor, dip down a step, come back. So how many times? Tonic, dip down, tonic, dip down, tonic. Four times. Well, it's four measures. And two and three and and two and three and and two and three and and more and three and 
and two and less snow, and two and less snow, and two and least snow. There you go. There you go. That's that's a, well, that's a section. Wait, wait, Fritz. That's a section. Let's do section by section. Okay, that's one section. Okay, I want to do it one more time, and then we're going to try to do left to right, left to right. Okay. In fact, you know what I would do? I was doing this with another student. What I would do before I do left to right, left to right, is I do. Tell me why I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I'm blocking everything out. Actually, I should do it short. Two and three and two. You see the clashing sounds? Very pretty. Very pretty clashes. Right? Now what do I do? Go up. Skip. This is the way to do it. Half steps. One more time on the right hand. One more time on the right hand. Okay, let's count. Block it out. One and two and three and 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 crescendo to the and then now less now. Half step, half step, half steps. Wait, Fritz. Fritz, Fritz, Fritz. These are half step motions coming down. Hear that? Right. Okay. Except for. These are all half steps until this one. Okay, let's start here. And those are counts for each block. Three counts for each block. One and two and three and and two and three and and two and less now. Good, 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 good. Okay. No, no, no. That's not good. No, no. Stop. Okay. Now I want you to take the left hand chord. And block it together, for instance. Play them together. Play everything together per measure and hold it for three, even though you're doing staccato. It takes up the space off. Two and three and two and three and two and three and. Okay, like that. Go slow enough. Two and three and slow down, two and three and, two and three and, two and three and, two and three and, half step now comes, two and three and, excellent and least. You did it! It's very good. And you know, you're going to play this piece very well because you're mapping out the piece, right? You know what you're doing. Okay, now I don't see why now. Let's try this now. Only take the right hand. Listen to me. Only take the right hand, count the missing beat one, and play the remit. But you have to listen to my directions. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one. Now the pattern is that this one's unraveled, mm -hmm. and this one is a chord, and then a single note. Mm -hmm. So this, this is a pattern. These two here represent a pattern. This is repeated. This is one of these, right? And now this is actually not that hard, because remember, I came down my three steps, except for here with the E flat. And you, but this resembles what pattern? This rhythmic pattern? Is, is this represents this rhythm? Mm -hmm. So. 